In this section of the course, we're going to be learning about manipulating strings in Python. What we're going to cover in this section is we're going to start by giving an overview of using strings in Python. And that's going to be in this lesson. I'm going to give you an overview of all the different options you have for managing strings. There are four different approaches to managing strings, and we're going to cover each one in this lecture. It's good to learn both the old and the new ways because you never know, you may end up maintaining some old outdated code that uses some of the old approaches. So even though I wouldn't recommend using old outdated approaches when you're writing new code, it's still good to be familiar with these approaches in case you ever need to use them in a real life scenario. After we've done that, we're gonna go into some practical lessons where we're gonna learn how to use format function and also formatted string literals. And these are two of the new modern ways of managing strings in Python. But first, what is string formatting? Simply put, it is creating strings of text in the Python code. It often involves injecting variables into these strings. And you wanna make sure you do that in a way that is clean and easy to read. You wanna keep your code clean and easy to read because that means it is easy to maintain and everybody wants code that is easy to maintain. There are many different options for managing strings in Python. This is because Python is quite an old language that has evolved over time. And as it's evolved, they've added new and better and faster approaches to managing strings in the language. The first way is concatenation. This is when you just concatenate st strings together. So you have a list of strings and you just add them together. We're gonna to be going into how this actually looks in more detail in a moment. The next is the old style formatting. This is when you use the percent symbol to format a string. Then you have the format function. This is a new function which was added to Python 3 and it allows you to format strings using the format function. Finally, you have formatted string literals, also referred to as F strings. And this is the newest and most modern and fastest approach. So concatenation, let's look at concatenation. It looks a bit like this. So you have here a variable or two variables. You have a name and an age, and you're making a message out of those variables. And the message will read hello, mark, and then in brackets, the age. You can see how it works here is we've defined a string hello and then we've added the name and then we've added an open bracket with a space before it. Then we've used the str function to convert the age to a string and then we've added the closing bracket at the end. This, would, this is what we need to do to achieve this message using concatenation. The problem with this is that it is difficult to read and it's cumbersome to write and maintain as well as being prone to error. So it's very easy to make a mistake here. You could just simply forget to add a space before the bra opening bracket in the middle, and then you would have a string that doesn't look right. So it's very prone to error. And I would avoid managing strings like this where possible. So if you don't need to do this for some reason, then I would just avoid this totally. The next style is old style formatting. It's called old style formatting because it is the old way that strings are managed in the earlier versions of Python, but it still exists in the code today. So some people may still write code like this. So this is what the old style formatting looks like. You have two variables again. So we're, we're creating the same message in every single one of these examples and the message is hello, mark, and then in brackets, the age. You can see here that what we've done is define a kind of a template of the message. So we've created the string first, which says hello, and then this percent %s, and then we've added the bracket and then percent %i, and then we use the percent character after the string, and we pass in brackets all of the variables that we want to assign to that string value. So it assigns it in the order that you add it to the code. So you can see we have the percent %s first, so that matches to the first item in the brackets after the percent. So that will be the name. And the second will be the um, integer value for age. Because Python by default doesn't automatically allow you to concatenate strings and integers together, you always need to do some kind of conversion. And that's built into this old style method by using percent %i for integers and percent %s for strings. And this allows you to automatically, well, this behind the scenes will automatically convert the variable to the correct type, the string type, before inserting it into the string. 
This may be deprecated in Python, which means it eventually may be removed. So you may have at some point not be able to use this feature in Python. And it was actually marked for deprecation in a version of Python 3. However, that was withdrawn and it was still left in the code because it was quite a controversial topic. I think a lot of people decided that they liked to use this method and they didn't want it to be removed. And also they didn't want it to break their um, code that uses this type of formatting. There are cleaner and newer approaches available that are also faster to process. And I would avoid using this old style formatting for any new code that you write. So only use this if you're using code that requires you to use this because it is using an outdated version of Python or you're maintaining somebody's code that uses this old method. That brings us on to the format function. That looks like this. So it's quite similar to what you just saw where you start by defining the string first, the, the how the string looks. In this case, it's hello. And then you use these open and close braces here to insert where you want to put the values. And then what you do is you use the format function, which is a function added to the string. And then you pass in the variables that you want to insert into the string. And similar to the old style formatting with the percentages, it inserts the variables in the order that you pass them in. So it will assign the first value name. So the first argument of the format function name, it will assign to the first set of open and close braces in the string. This is a modern approach. So it was a newer approach that was recommended in Python. It auto converts types to strings. So you notice here that we didn't need to specify the type of the value that is being inserted. It automatically converts the integer value of age equals 31 to a string value without you doing any extra work. And it is cleaner than many of the other options. And also because it is the new approach, you can be confident that this will remain in the Python code for a longer period of time than the old style formatting. So this is recommended over any of those other styles. So I would also use this if you need backwards compatibility because this feature is being, has been made to be backward compatible with versions before the version of Python that it was added. So this feature was initially added in Python 3.6, but the developers then decided that they were gonna add an update to the previous versions of Python, which also add this feature. So it's called backwards compatibility. It means it's compatible with the previous version of Python before the one that it was introduced in. That brings us on to my favorite type of string formatting. It's called formatting or formatted string literals. And that looks like this. So you see here, you have the same name, age, and then you have a message. And then in that message, we insert the string or the variables directly into the string. And the only thing we need to do is prefix the string by the F character. That's why it's called an F string, because you put the letter F and then you define the string. And this allows you to access the variables directly in the string and insert them. So in my opinion, this is the by far the cleanest and nicest way. And you don't need to add any additional functions or percent symbols or pass in or remember the order that you need to pass things in. It's all just done within the string. And this is the newest way that you can manage strings in Python. It's certainly the cleanest and fastest approach. And it is available in Python 3.6 and onwards. However, this is not backwards compatible. So you can only use this if you plan on always using the version, Python or the version of Python 3.6 or after. Obviously, version Python 3.8 is fine, and that's what we're using in this course. So this is what we'll be using the most. This, as you may have guessed, is my recommended solution. I recommend you always use this approach unless, as I said, you need that backwards compatibility, which is quite a rare case. It's only if you work for a company that perhaps uses an old, outdated version because they don't have the resources to upgrade to the newest version that you would ever do this. It's quite an edge case. And fortunately, it, it, there's becoming less and less times you would need to use any of the old formatting options. So to summarize, there are lots of different options to manage strings in Python. Formatted string literals or F strings is my recommended approach, but it's still good to learn and be familiar with the older ways in case you're ever using some of that older code. And now let's dive into some practical lessons where we're gonna use the format function and also formatted string literals. So let's get some hands-on experience using the format function to manage strings. We're gonna open up our Visual Studio Code Editor, and of course, make sure that you have our course project open. 
Then we're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call the folder string underscore manipulation. And this is gonna contain all of our string manipulation examples. After that, we'll create a new file within this folder and we'll call that format underscore function dot py. Next, what we're going to do is we're gonna set some variables here. So the first variable will be the name equals, and then feel free to put your name or you can use my name if you prefer, Mark, and then age. And I'm gonna put age equals 31. So we have our two variables. Next, we're gonna create a string that says hello, Mark, and then the age in brackets. So we're gonna type message equals hello, and then open up the braces here and then add a bracket or open bracket and some more braces and close bracket. Then you wanna add dot format to the end and we'll pass in name comma age. After this, we're gonna print the, the contents of this message below by typing print message and we'll output it to the console. Save that file and then click on the play run button here to run it. You can see that what it did is it outputted the string as expected here. So it's hello, Mark, so hello, then the name, and then the age in brackets. So that's the basic usage of the format function, but there are a couple of different other ways that you can use it and different quirks that you might wanna be familiar with because they could be useful to you when you are working with the code. The first one is the order. So as I mentioned previously, in the, pre in the introduction lesson, the order is just gonna match, the order of the arguments in the format function matches the order that the braces are defined here in the string. So the first one gets assigned to the, or the first value gets assigned to the first brace, and the second value, age, gets assigned to the second brace. But you can actually change this order if you need. There may be times when you want to reorder this or you want to make the, or the list of items in the format function map to a different order inside the message. And you can do that by simply putting a number in the braces here. So the numbers always start at zero. It's a zero index, which means the first one is always zero and then the second one is always one. What we'll do is we'll actually reverse this order to test it. So inside the last set of braces here, I'm gonna put zero, and inside the first set, I'm gonna put one. And then I'm gonna save the file and run it, and you can see that in this case, it changed the age and the name around, so it's printing the age first and the name second, which obviously we don't want. So we can change that here in the arguments that we pass into the format function. And we save that and run it again, you can see that it corrects it. So that's how you manage the order of which the, uh, the order which the arguments appear in the string. There's another way that you can change how the items in the format function, the, the arguments, these are called, these are called the arguments that you pass to the function. There's another way that you can change that and that is by naming them in here instead of adding the index. So instead of using the number that represents the order, you can actually change it to the name. So you can change this to name and we can change this to age. However, this won't work if we run this. So if we save it and we run it, we get an error saying there is a key, key error name. This is called a Python exception. And this happens whenever there is an error or a bug in your code. So a problem in your code, that means it cannot run. The reason we get this is because when you define the names here, you need to also specify what's called keyword arguments. So that is when you actually specify the name of the argument that you're passing into the function. In this case, we're passing in the uh, arguments age and name, so we just wanna name these. So what we can do is we can do name equals and age equals. I'm just gonna close this sidebar here so you can see it in full screen, there you go. All right, so now we have what's called named keyword arguments passed to our format function. Don't worry if the function stuff is getting a bit confusing because we're gonna go into functions in detail a bit later on in the course. For now, just make sure your code looks the same as this. So you have age equals age. And one thing to keep in mind, I mentioned in the PEP8 lecture that there should always be spaces around operators. 
The only exception to that is in the arguments here. So you wanna make sure to be compliant with the PEP8 guidelines, you don't wanna do age and then space age, you just wanna leave age equals age, and this is just the recommended approach in PEP8. So you only use the spaces if you are assigning a variable or performing an operation like adding numbers together or so on. Anyway, let's save the function now that we've updated these parameters and run it. So you see now that it output the name and the age in the correct place. So that is how you use the keyword names in the format function. Now we're gonna learn how to use formatted string literals. Inside our Visual Studio code, let's create a new Python file inside our string manipulation directory and let's call it formatted string literals.py. Then we're gonna start with the same two variables, name equals then your name, and age equals and your age if you wish, and then message equals, and we're gonna start the F string as they're called with an F. So you type F and then you start a new string and I'm gonna use the single quotes here and we define the string that we wanna create. So let's create the same string as we did before, hello. And then inside the uh, braces, we're gonna put the variable that we wanna insert, which is name. Then close the braces, then open bracket, open braces, age, close braces, close bracket. Now let's just print the output of this so we can tell that it is working correctly by typing print and then message. All right, save the file, click on the run or you can open up your terminal or command prompt and run it through that. And you can see that it has already run the code and output the string as we expected here. So hello, Mark, and then the age. And as you can see, hopefully from writing this code yourself, this is a much easier and cleaner way to format strings in Python. It beats the format function where you have to add dot format and then pass in the arguments and worry about the order and worry about the names and things like that. With the F string or the formatted string literals, you simply define the string and you access the variables directly in the string. So that's how you use F strings in Python.